Good morning, Charging Wildcats. Today is Monday, April 22nd, which means it's National Earth Day and National Jelly Bean Day. On the main desk, I'm Christian Royal. And on the virtual studio, I'm Nia Sexton. Today is also National Girl Scouts Leaders Day. Lots of exciting choices, so let's get into today's news. The North Little Rock High School seniors are having an art show. It is open to the public and will be held on April 26th. Students' artwork will be showcased from 5 to 7 p.m. at the bottom of B Tower. All artwork and display can be purchased and it benefits the artist directly. Moving on, let's see what the weather has in store for this week. Wildcats, uh, we're, we're back with the weather. So, uh, I don't mean to alarm you guys, but um, it does warm up a little. We got like a little warm front coming, which will unfortunately cause some scattered storms near the end, but we'll get to that in a second. So, we're gonna start off. Monday, we have nice sunny, high is 69, low 46, and you know, it's how it is, but since temperature's rising, the weather doesn't like that, so we're gonna get some we're gonna get some clouds. We're gonna need some clouds. Good old 76, 56. And this laser pointer being really annoying. So am I though. Uh, Wednesday we also have partly cloudy with 73, 54. But I mean, with the temperatures and stuff rising, it's gonna it's gonna go downhill. But Thursday is also cloudy with the 75 and 60. But here's where it takes a little turn because Friday, where is it? There it is. Friday. Starts getting all stormy with like a 30% chance. These are like almost guaranteed days because uh, we're guessing right now, which is pretty good guess. Um, high of 80, low of 68 for Friday with a 30% chance of scattered storms. Uh, Saturday is about a 60% chance of scattered storms or 60% 60, 60 chance uh, it happens all the time. Yep. Uh, 83 is a high, 67 is a low. And Sunday we got really stormy. A high of 82 and a low of 65 of that. So we had some stormy weather. So hopefully it doesn't get too much worse than a storm, but no promises. We're gonna have some shattered storm, uh, sh scattered storms, and some shattered windows maybe. But uh, yeah, that's all we have for you this week, Wildcats. So see y'all next week. Congratulations to the high school and COE art students that participated in the Arkansas Young Artists Association. This year, there were 58 schools and over 1,000 students and over 3,000 works of art on site. During the event, there were 657 students that participated in an on-site competition where they had to make works of art within a one-hour time period. And we have a few honorable mentions. Seniors Adam Dandridge and Nathan Williams both won scholarships by placing in the top four in multiple categories. We also want to recognize other students that receive high marks like Owen Burks, Sarah Roden, Sydney Hurston, Spencer Hill, Callan Leonard, and Jordan Bethel. Other students with honorable mentions include Lily Madden, Zoe Gallen, Takaya Turner, Noah Strother, Olivia Jones, Anaya Williams, Sarah Neiman, and Wyndham Dempster. Congratulations to all 42 students that competed. Seniors, please make sure you are checking your emails. Emails have been sent informing you about upcoming events. The senior recognition form has been sent out to you and will be due by April 26th. The ceremony is on May 2nd where you'll be acknowledged for your future plans or any scholarships you've won. Senior activity is also coming up and a lunch form has also been sent out. Please make sure to pick from the food choices so you won't be hungry. Remember, the incentive is still going on for all students who can meet the 30-day challenge requirements. The challenge has already been started. All students who meet the challenge will be able to join a free movie with free food and concessions during the school day. Rising 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, are you interested in being the next Academy Ambassador? App applications are out now and the deadline to apply is on April 26th. Don't let your solar eclipse glasses go to waste. The North Little Rock Public Library System is now a recycling stop for used solar eclipse glasses. You can drop off your used solar eclipse glasses at any locations like Lehman or their mobile library by Saturday, April 27th. The glasses will help kids in Latin America enjoy the October 2024 eclipse safely. We are having an Academy's Field Day, which will be May 2nd. 
The event is for freshman students who are in business, hospitality, and future tech academy, as well as the digital, visual, and performing arts academy, and everyone who is the Academy of Health and Human Services. This is a field day that will include flag football, tug of war, relay racing, board games, and many more outside activities. If you missed out on the first NLR Charging Wildcats Airs merch order, Student Council is doing a reorder. They will end April 24th at midnight, so please order any time during this time frame so you don't miss out. Want to try out for the North Little Rock Volleyball Team? Tryouts are on May 22nd and May 23rd. For more information, contact Coach Joshua. And now, as we do every week, it is time to perform the Star Spangled Banner. This week, our national anthem will be performed by our high school band. That's all we have for today, Wildcats. Remember that if you have any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrsd.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nlrtv4, on Instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs, and on our Facebook page at North Rock TV. And please subscribe to our NLRTV YouTube channel. 